The last week has seen the latest earnings from um, social media site Twitter come out, and the market reaction has been perhaps uh, quite brutal. We've seen the, the share price knock back by about uh, 20% or so. They were trading at, at, at $67. They're now trading around $55. Um, but given the trend for Twitter, is this an overreaction and actually a buying opportunity, or could there be worse to come for the Twitter share price? Since Twitter came to the market, it has had you know, a pretty volatile time. If you look at the stock price just over recent years, you know, if we go back to uh, April 2017, it was trading down as low as $14 a share. But then in the recent run, we've seen it trade up to its uh, best levels ever, trading up above $80 a share. Uh, Longer term investors in Twitter are used to volatility. So I was wondering, is this latest knock for the price? Just another bout uh, of that volatility. If we look at the trend here, we're still in the trend from, from last year, off the lows from last year. Of course, plenty of stocks um, absolutely fell off a cliff in March of 2020 and recovered strongly since then. Twitter is no exception. So in this video, I'll talk a bit about why those earnings were disappointing, the levels to watch. Then we'll come back, look at this in more detail and see where perhaps the opportunities might be. Hello, I'm David Jones from Capital.com and uh, welcome to our Stocks channel where during the week we'll look at various uh, different uh, company shares. Uh, we'll, we'll push out regular videos and see whether there's a buying or selling opportunity. So as usual, if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, if you could click on subscribe, it helps to support and grow the channel and means we can continue to push out uh, lots of different videos throughout the week. So I thought we'd start things off by looking at Twitter. We've seen a big fall for their share price over the last week uh, following earnings. So as usual in this, um, I'll talk a bit about what those earnings look like, um, why we saw the share price hit, then we'll jump back onto the platform, look at things in more detail and see where the opportunity might be. So um, let's kick things off and start looking at Twitter. So I'm sure plenty of us are familiar with Twitter, maybe uh, even use it. It can be a great source of breaking news, uh, particularly I think for financial markets, but uh, a little bit of history. It's a social networking site, so it um, sits in the same um, bucket as the likes of uh, Facebook and Instagram, and it was founded back in 2006. The latest earnings gave us an idea of the reach of Twitter. It's got um, just shy of 200 million users around the world. And even over the last year, that's seen big growth. That number is up 20% from where it was a year ago. Of course, you can buy shares in Twitter now, but that wasn't the case uh, until they IPO'd. So they came to the market in November 20, 2013, so just over seven years ago now. On the first day of trading, we saw the share price close just shy of $45 a share. If we look at the performance uh, this year for Twitter, so for the year to date, the share price is unchanged. So it's basically trading where it was at the end of 2020, but that doesn't tell um, even half of the story. We've seen plenty of volatility and just over the last week, we've seen the shares drop by about 20%, you know, following on from this uh, latest earnings update. So the earnings were something of a mis mixed bag. The market was expecting um, earnings per share of around 14 cents. Um, Twitter was slightly ahead of that, so it came in with adjusted earnings per share of uh, 16 cents per share. So that, that, was, that was a good number. But where it disappointed the market was on looking forward. So it, its revenue guidance for the next quarter was uh, slightly below uh, market expectations. And I think this is the reason that we saw the share price um, really take a hit. So the earnings were good, but the, the outlook, the guidance, not so much. So we've seen this massive slide just, just from the all-time high in February, uh, up about $80. The share price is trading 30% lower, so just in the space of a couple of months. But we've seen plenty of volatility for the Twitter share price over the years. So is this latest bout of volatility um, the sign of worse things to come? Or actually, uh, is it, could it be a buying opportunity? We'll take a look at things in a bit more detail. But first of all, let's talk about the levels to watch. So the ultimate level, I suppose, is the all-time high, which again was only just over a couple of months ago. So up at $80.75, uh, the highest the share price has ever been. On the way down, we saw an interim, again, I think an important high, just above $73. That could be a hurdle if we see a recovery from here. But for me, where it gets interesting is if we start looking at the support levels 
just below uh, where we are now. So at the time of recording, it is trading above $50, which I think could well be an important psychological level for Twitter. It will be interesting to see if that holds. After that, I think we'll be looking back to sort of $44.40, and that's the low from back in January uh, of this year. So um, lots of interesting levels just below where we are now to see if Twitter actually manages to make a base. But let's put some colour on these numbers. Let's take a look at the chart and have a look at things in a bit more detail. So let's take a bit more of a, a technical look at the price uh, for Twitter. So we'll look at a couple of indicators and we'll take a look at the price action as well. Let's start things off. I've got a 20-day uh, moving average on here and you can see clearly as the market's been moving higher, the moving average has been moving higher as well. Um, you know, Classically, you, using moving averages, a move above the moving average is a buy signal, a move below it uh, is a sell signal. Given that the drastic move uh, in the last couple of weeks or the last week or so, you know, we've got the price well below uh, that 20-day moving average. That's currently coming in around $65 a share. And at the time of recording, the, the shares are trading at 55 Historically, or over the last 12 months or so, we haven't seen Twitter spend too long below its 20-day moving average. So perhaps that's one suggestion that, that the move we're in at the moment could well have been somewhat overextended. So I think that does give some hope to the bulls of Twitter that actually we're seeing something of an overreaction by the market. Let's see. Let's take a look at some other things. I thought it would be useful to look at the RSI, so the Relative Strength Index, um, a classic overbought, oversold signal, just to see you know, some of the more recent signals uh, for Twitter. The last time, and actually the, the only time prior to this where the RSI went oversold was right at the beginning of the year, in January, when we saw those lows uh, down just ahead of $44 a share. Share price runs up, uh, RSI goes overbought, as is often the case, goes overbought a bit too early. Eventually, the shares do roll over. Uh, around $80 a share. The last signal we had overbought, we go back to here in April. So again, I did a pretty good job when the share price was trading up around 72. But something else that gives perhaps um, a bit of encouragement to the bulls down here is the fact that this latest slide has knocked the share, they're not the RSI uh, back into oversold again. So again, suggesting that perhaps the move uh, in Twitter has gone far enough uh, to the downside. So it'll be interesting to see, again, how the next few weeks play out if we do uh, come out of this oversold situation and see something of a recovery for the shares. But for me, the trend is the important thing. And we've got a great trend here for, for Twitter. Just looking at the last 12 months, you know, if I go back to those lows in March last year, down around $20 a share, We've got this trend line that's doing a great job. Lots of touches on this trend line. And it's really since January of this year, those January lows that I mentioned down at 44.40, the price accelerated away from there, almost doubled, uh, ran up to 80 plus and has got knocked back. But what's really interesting is where this latest weakness has stopped. We're almost bang on the trend line. Uh, the last couple of days for Twitter. So the trend line is coming in, um, let's call it $52 a share. Yesterday, the price traded down to 52.66. So, so if we were following the trend, if we were looking at the technicals, at the chart analysis, you know, we'd be expecting a, a bounce off these levels. So, so thinking about it, if, if I was a buyer down here, what would we be doing? Where would we think, well, actually, perhaps we've been a little bit too early? I suppose one place to put it is the other side uh, of that trend line, which is around, as I say, 52 at the moment. $50 um, round numbers such as that can often be psychological support. But I would probably be tempted to go below the lows for the year. So the lows for the year coming in at $44.40. I think if we saw Twitter start to make uh, fresh lows for the year for its stock price, you know, it does look like this 12-month recovery, recovery is well and truly over. And I think then we'd be targeting sort of stock price levels from the last quarter of uh, last year. So it is something of a sort of bounce or bust territory uh, for Twitter now. It will be interesting to see how it performs uh, down at these levels. But from a trend-following point of view, we do still have an uptrend, even though the market, uh, the share price has dropped back 
30% from those all-time highs above 80. We've come back to the trend line. We've moved a long way from the moving average. Again, come quite overextended. The 10-day RSI is oversold. So I'd be really watching here to see if this whole $44 to $50 a share level uh, can, can hold the price up. And do we see some confidence come back in and some buyers come back in? So for me, it's only if it breaks below 44, does it look as if finally this trend is over. So this uh, this sell-off could well have pre prevent, presented some uh, with a buying opportunity when it comes to the Twitter stock price. Just one quick one. If we took things back even further, I think we'd be pushed to say there was a trend off the 2017 lows. We probably could pick up on that, but that's quite a shallow trend it's been in. You can see, just looking historically, how much it has accelerated in recent years. And, and I think what also adds to the argument for perhaps a bounce down here is uh, what a problem sort of 45 to 55 has been over the past six years or so. You know, it's been a real area of res resistance. And we often see resistance areas uh, flip to being support if we get a breakout and the price moves back to it. So I'll be watching this trend line and this whole 44 to 50 area to see if we get a bounce to Twitter over the next few weeks. So will investors like Twitter at these levels or is there um, even more weakness to come? We'll, we'll find out. We'll keep an eye on it. We'll come back and take a look um, as things change. But for now, from me, David Jones and Capital.com, we'll leave things there. Good luck with your investing and trading. For more trading videos just like this, please subscribe to our channel.